Good afternoon, folks. We're going to use a recent paper to go break down a critical aspect of geophysical dynamics that plays into weather an existential risk for our species. One of the critical things we've done over the last decade and a half is to report on, analyze, and aggregate the more than a thousand studies on how the sun impacts the atmosphere. Unfortunately, nearly all of it is ignored, left out of weather models, and drowned out by propaganda on TV, in classrooms, and on the internet. The paper we hit recently was this one. Hard to believe it got past the gatekeepers and peer reviewers. It suggests that changes in solar activity are responsible for an enormous fraction of the Arctic warming. This is important because few people know that the Arctic changes actually represent more than a third of all climate change. Yes, more than 33%. So, to see them suggest that solar forcing was equal to greenhouse gases is quite the revelation and a happy surprise to see in a mainstream science journal. Now, let's take that latest analysis using the best data published just last week and combine it with something else that has been widely ignored, the fact that the changes in the Arctic region are about two-thirds driven by ozone depletion. This study has also been bafflingly ignored in favor of demonizing carbon dioxide, and while this paper blames ozone-depleting pollution, those chemicals have been plummeting in concentration while near-record and even record ozone holes keep appearing. The real reason behind this problem is also solar-driven. You see, normally there is a balance. Solar ultraviolet light makes ozone photochemically but solar particles like protons and electrons destroy it. This balance has been tipped recently as Earth's magnetic field is weakening. The current magnetic pole shift has allowed far more solar particles and cosmic rays to enter the atmosphere, and those are causing a depleting effect. So, combining this with the previous study on equivalent solar forcing to pollution, it begins to paint a very different picture, but it doesn't stop at the ozone. The solar wind is having a greater access to the entire atmosphere in this pole shift, both directly and indirectly. The solar wind not only penetrates more easily, but pushes more Van Allen belt electrons downward. The increased proton bombardments and geomagnetic forcing at the polar region is enhanced, and that spreads throughout the globe, rapidly, through the ionospheric waveguide. These things taken together have one simple implication. We have covered hundreds of papers on the solar destruction of the ozone, the forcing of heat, precipitation, wind, lightning, storms, including tropical storms, major oscillations like El Nino and Atlantic and Pacific patterns, and the major Hadley cell and Walker circulation controls on the climate. But now, as they continue to be ignored, their power is actually growing day by day as the magnetic field lets more and more of that solar forcing into the Earth system. This is why the environment changes so rapidly during magnetic pole shifts. The sun gets an easier shot at the Earth, and the atmosphere reacts most rapidly and substantially. If you can understand this simple concept, now please look below the video. There are key resources on solar forcing and the magnetic pole shift, and also on how dramatically it impacts our world. Whatever questions you have right now will be answered in those three links below. Subscribe and I'll see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.